Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Tonight we are going to talk about all the different methods of fertilization. There is quite a bit of different ways to do this out there. Uh, we have slurry, we have digestate, we have manure, we've got weeding, we've got oilseed radish, we've got uh, solid fertilizer, we've got sprays. Uh, this game kind of seems to mishmash them all together. You could do all manure like five times, <laughs> three times to fertilize, or you could do, um, if you want to play the game more realistically like a simulator, you can use different methods to fertilize, and that's kind of what we're going to go over tonight. Now, if you have the game on medium settings or um, a hard difficulty, you're going to need to do th plowing and fertilization. The plowing we went over in another video called Noob Guide Part 2 and Noob Guide Part 1. I'm sorry, Part 1 and Part 2 both include it. Um, so tonight we're going to we're assuming that you know how to plow or assuming that you know how to how to cultivate and all that stuff. We're looking at specifically all the different ways to do fertilization. So um, here we have plant weathering off. We're going to turn these on in your settings menu. You can change this no matter what difficulty you're playing. You can affect these uh, right now. We have it on fertilizer state one because we're playing on easy, but we're going to make this three so that we actually have to do some work. Periodic plowing is also required. We're going to turn that on, though. Actually, we're going to keep that off because we're not messing with plowing tonight. So, once again, on medium or normal and hard settings, you're going to have to do three states of fertilizer. On easy, it's one state. So that would be like throw down some manure and you're good. Or spray the plants and you're good. But in reality, this is more... Farmers usually do two to three different states of types of plant care is really what this should be called. They call it fertilizer states, but in reality, we're talking about plant care because, you know, manure is fertilizer. Spraying usually is to get rid of fungicide, pesticide, it's, or to get rid of uh, fungus, you know, obviously insects. Um, and then, um, you know, so it's not necessarily, or, or even to water the plants. So it's not necessarily fertilizer, but the game considers it fertilizer. Weeding, obviously, that's not fertilizing the plants. But it's getting rid of weeds that could cause the plants to lose nutrition from the soil because the weeds are taking up all the nutrition. So these fertilizer states, um, they act as fertilizer in the game, but it's more like, hey, take care of your crops. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're actually putting fertilizer down. Really, solid fertilizer, manure, and slurry are three actual types of fertilizer that we use in game. The other things that we do, a lot of them are not necessarily actually fertilizer, but more plant care. The whole point is the game wants you to take care of your plants. So the first thing that we're going to talk about, um, Farmer Bob here has asked us to do his field. Uh, it is ready to be fertilized. And you can see here that um, he hasn't collected his straw. There was a huge... Uh, rainstorm and it got ruined so he decided that he just wants us to plow it under and so we're going by the way the game is going stock we're going default here this is all things that are included in the game without any dlcs or anything like that we may cover some dlc stuff but there are no mods or anything i'm running bone stock dry so if we're going to play it like a real farmer the first thing you would do before you do any work to the field is you'd put manure down um now uh, there's different times that you do these different things. So I'm going to kind of go, we're going to play it like we're we're playing realistically. So like we want to do this in the order that it would actually be done. So the first thing you're going to do before you even touch the field with a cultivator or plow is to put manure down and get it spread out. A lot of times farmers do this in, in the fall or winter um, after the, the fields have been harvested. They give the manure a while to sink into the field. They may even cultivate it in in the winter, like, before, or like late fall uh, after the crops are gone. Um, but they won't necessarily uh, plant anything. They're just getting the fields ready for the next year. So that manure is going to sit on the field and soak into the dirt and get the nutrition from the manure back into the dirt. Um, now, how do we make manure? Pigs and cows. Um, the pigs don't make a whole lot of manure, it seems like. It seems like the cows are best for manure. So if you can get two or 300 cows on your farm, you'll be making enough manure to do a couple fields. The manure doesn't go very far. That's the only frustrating thing about it. Now, um... While we're here, we'll talk about a second byproduct called slurry. Slurry would also go down on the field before the plants start growing. So you would want to put slurry down, you know, before you cultivate and plant. Um, so uh, we'll talk about slurry next, but we're going to go ahead and do manure first so that you guys can see how the manure is done. 
and then we'll bring in the slurry setup. There's quite a lot of equipment for slurry, and I'll show you how to use each piece of it. Um, it actually gets simpler as we go. So manure is pretty simple. You just basically load. You got to load the manure using some kind of front loader into this manure spreader. There's several manure spreaders size-wise in the game. You could use just a regular front loader tractor. You don't have to use this monster thing. I'm just trying to speed things up a little bit for the tutorial. And I've got millions and billions of dollars because I'm rich. Because um, this is my play map. So this is not the map that I actually play my games on. I don't usually cheat stuff in. As you guys know, if you've been watching my channel, you know I don't cheat stuff in. Uh, I actually work for it. But for the tutorials, we play around a little bit, give myself some play money, and I get out there and buy anything that I want. So... <laughs> Got the biggest tractor and the biggest manure wagon and the biggest front loader to do this fast and efficiently. You can see here this thing, we've already done like four or five scoops. This thing takes quite a bit of manure. You could probably also use a conveyor belt to load the manure into the wagon. I don't know, I mean, if you feel like setting all that up, um, it might go faster because instead of having to play around like this, you're still going to have to use some kind of loader to load it onto the conveyor belt. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish loading this up and I'll catch up with you in just a moment. <laughs> that last scoop was it. So the things that the Strautman is now full. I'm going to move the manure loader back onto the poop and turn this off. I know I'm not super mature. <laughs> I have that problem. I'm kind of like a big kid. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy out there and you can see this going to work. So once again, this is a pre plant type thing that you would do. Um, now, the hard thing about the manure is one, it goes really fast. You run out of it. And two, it's hard to, to know. Oh, this has to be unfolded. What? Okay, so we're going to fold the numerous, the manure spreader. And I'm going to turn this. There we go. It's spreading crap all over the, the field. You can see the field changing color there. You can see where you've been is darker than where you haven't been. There's definitely a poo cast color on the field. Whoops. I don't. I just shut the tractor off. That was the wrong button. I'm trying to turn a uh, worker on. <laughs> Lame. Okay, try this again. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and hire a worker. Is the guy hired? Yep. So there's a guy running this now. So we're going to let him do a portion of the field. We'll see. Actually, we'll run this whole tipper and see how far we get. Uh, so I'll catch back up with you. I don't think we'll be able to do the whole field with this load, but maybe. We'll see. Oh, uh, and we're screwed right now. Hang on. I pressed the wrong button. So one thing that you need to know, if you're filling it up by hand, what's happening right now, stop, is I hired a worker, and he's actually buying manure from Mary's Farm instead of using the manure that's in the tipper. So what we need to do is we need to go into settings. And you see that happening with the fertilizer. You turn this from buy to off. You turn these all off. That way the guy doesn't buy stuff. He's actually using stuff from your farm. You don't want the guy buying stuff. You want to use your manure. You don't want to buy manure. The only time you do that is if you got like halfway done with the field and you were out of manure. There we go. Now it's going down fast. You can see we're at 93%. 92%. I think this is going to cover maybe a quarter of the field and it'll be empty. So it's uh, the downside with manure is it goes fast. You really probably, if you have a bunch of fields, you're probably only going to cover one or two of them, even if the cows give you like full manure. They, uh, it definitely doesn't go a long way. So <laughs> kind of stinks. Um, get back in here and see how we're doing. So we'll catch up with it as it gets empty. I'll show you how far we got with one load. We might be able to get the whole field, but I don't want to. I want to show you some slurry, too. So, I got to say, he's about a quarter of the way done with the field. I'm pretty impressed. There's actually quite a bit of slurry left. So, I mean, he might be able to complete almost all this field with that. With that, I'm not slurry, manure. Um, I mean, it's it's gone a pretty long way. Now, we did get that first strip with no consequence because the worker was buying it. But uh, we've gotten a pretty decent amount of manure down. Um and I almost want to just have the guy quit so we can try the other methods. But we'll let him go about halfway, and then we'll catch up, and, and we'll do the other half of the field with slurry. Uh, in real life, you'd want to use up all your manure first. You know, you'd want to try to get as many fields done with the manure as possible. The nice thing about manure and slurry is that they're free. Um, so you get them as a byproduct from your, your pigs and your cows. And so you get free fertilizer, basically. There's one other method to get free fertilizer, and we'll talk about that during the slurry portion. So we will be back in a moment when this guy is halfway done. So with half the field done, this guy has got about 10% left. Actually, a little bit over half the field. So I, I'm impressed that manure actually went a lot further than I thought it would. Um, so anyway, that's the manure. 
basically you just fill it up and spread it out and you do it before in real life you do it you could probably put it on the plants in the game and it would count it <laughs> but in real life uh you want to do manure first so if you're going to play the game like you mean it manure goes down as a stage of fertilization first before you plant and if we look at our map let's take a look and see what our our, our field status is saying here for our field here we are. this is what we're working on is number 28 if we look at the field status it is Looking good. We're halfway covered. So, actually a little bit over half. So, the next thing that we're going to look at is slurry. And slurry is quite um, a complicated subject because we have, once again, we have two types. We have slurry that comes from the animals, and then we have digestate that comes from the, from, uh, I was going to say the animal farm, but it actually comes from um, the, the biogas plant. When you burn silage at the biogas plant and if you don't know what i'm talking about please watch my video on silage also the video about forage harvesters and all that information because that's a whole other ball of wax but when you make biogas uh when you make si silage and sell it at the biogas plant the biogas plant has a tank and i'll show you all that stuff where you get digestate and digestate can be used as fertilizer we're going to look at the slurry the animal slurry first uh, and the equipment that goes with it. So what we have here is there's a whole system that they've given us. They've given us trucks with trailers that we can use to transport the slurry. Now, in this case, this slurry is right next to the field we're working on, so we don't really need a truck. We could actually just pull our slurry spreader, which is this guy, this huge thing, um, could just go right next to um, the cow pen and fill up right there. But if we want to, we can make it a little more fancy. And what they do in real life is they truck that stuff in from, you know, let's say we're getting from the biogas plant, which is halfway across the map. We need the semi-truck to truck it in. So the semi-truck pulls up to the, the, the area where you get slurry, and you press the R button to activate it. There's no symbol. You just have to keep trying until you get close enough. But you can see here I'm close enough because it's filling. Now, one thing that you need to know, you cannot mix slurry and digestate. Um... If your device already has slurry in it, like let's say that this tanker is halfway full with slurry, I can't go to the biogas plant and fill it up, fill the rest up with digestate. It's either one or the other. So you either have digestate or you have slurry. Um, so I almost recommend if you're a rich farmer, you have trucks set up and color coded for each type of, of um, slurry. And you can see oh, this is kind of cool on the back of the truck. You can see there the actual fill level of the truck. That's pretty neat. And I think all the slurry devices have that on it. You can see the gauge and see how full the device is by looking at that. Of course, you know, on the right side there, it tells us also. So we can still see it, but um, we're almost full all the way. And we are 100%. 30,000 liters go into this trailer. And we're going to pull the trailer over here. Um, now, if you have multiplayer, what you can do, or even with a hired worker... You could set one guy to, to load the fields, and then you could come over here with the truck and just keep filling him up as he empties. There's another device I'm going to show you right now, though, that can also help with this process. So let's take a look at that. So what we're looking at here is what's called a slurry tender. Um, and basically it's a big container, like a vat, that sits field side and can store your, equip or your uh, slurry or digestate. Um, once again, I'd recommend color coding them. Um, so you know which ones are which, and that way you don't mix your equipment up. But you know, or just you know, use one at, one type of stuff at a time. Um, I'm gonna lower this down here. There you go. When you disconnect it, it lowers. Uh, just be aware that if you fill this thing up with slurry, don't plan on moving it until it's almost empty or kind of empty, because it gets really heavy and the tractor will not be able to move it. The front wheels are gonna go up in the air, even with a weight. It's almost impossible to steer with this thing full so you want to set it where you, you plan out where you're going to set it for the 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 usage and then leave it there until you're done so, so the way the system works is this i'm going to pull this tractor off to the side and uh so we'll just leave that tank there and then let's get into our semi truck here and here's our semi and the semi is full now that container holds fifty thousand liters so we can make two trips and fill that up the whole goal once again is to tender uh, our slurry tanker as it works so we're going to come over here and um, we're going to pull next to this and what we're going to do is we're going to overload it by pressing the R button I think I got to figure out how to do this it's been a while since I've actually used these we're going to be using them on our, our county farm county uh, line farm here stuff. I the I button does it so it's dump so we're overloading 
and you can see here it's going to load all this slurry into that container and the container wiggles a little bit to let you know that it's loading <laughs> whatever um, be kind of cool if they actually like attached there I, there's a couple of mods out there that they quote unquote attach hoses and you can actually see the hoses attached to overload that's kind of neat but they don't do that for the default stuff so this is the pattern so you would be Dri you know, one person will be driving back and forth, loading slurry from the cows or from the biogas plant um, into the truck and then coming over here and dumping it while the other person works on the field and then comes over here to get their slurry um, from the tender. And that's the idea behind the tender. So if, you have, if you're hiring workers or whatever, it allows you guys to keep a rolling, keep the whole process rolling. One person's getting, because you go through slurry pretty fast. So this allows one person to tender it and the other person to actually use it. Now that this thing uses thirty thousand liters of um, of um, slurry, that that slurry wagon that we got right there, or, or more maybe. Um, so it, it can really use quite a bit and empty that that tender out pretty quick. So you're just this truck's going to be rolling the whole time, going back and forth and filling it up, while the other person uses this. Now we're going to go into the store for a second and take a look at some of the equipment before we start, start to run this. Um, there's a couple different options available. First, we'll look at the manure spreaders. Once again, I wanted to make clear, they go all the way down to an 8,000 liter one. So this is for a small tractor, obviously all the way up to Big Bud. Um, so the huge tractors that we've been using can pull this. There's many sizes available and prices, obviously. So you have a nice range of equipment for manure. Same thing for slurry. We have um, small slurry containers. This one does not have anything that attaches to it. It just sprays it out onto the field like the manure wagon. We have this Joskin. I find I use this one quite a bit. It's pretty wide, like it's a pretty wide um, path, and uh, it does a great job of, of spreading the slurry without, you know, making a big mess. Uh, and it's easy to see where you're going because you can see how wide it is because of these. You know, we'll see it on this big one too, but you can see how wide you're, of a path you're making. Then you have this odd one, and I'll show you how to operate this. We have a Zung Hammer. Um, um, slurry spreader. This one can just spread slurry like the first one. It just sprays it out the back all over the field. But you can also attach a cultivator to it. So this is called a two and what we call a two in one. It not only it not only can spray the the slurry, but it can also stop spraying and it puts it it injects it into these tubes into the dirt directly. So you can cultivate and spread slurry at the same time. So this is a nice device because it does a, it's a two in one. And then we have the one that we're using, which is this giant one. Obviously, it requires a pretty large tractor to operate because it's so freaking huge. Um, and then we have the the two, the slurry and the truck trailer. Um, once again, they hold both digestate. You can see here, this is the picture of digestate. This is the picture of the regular slurry. You can't mix it. So once again, it's either slurry or digestate. Once the thing is empty, you can put the other type of material in it. But it has to be empty before you can switch from one to the other. So... You know, if you want to buy two sets and color code them, like I said, that might be a way to do it. So we'll run this guy first, and show, I'll show you how that works. And then we'll we'll do the Zun Hammer so you can see the cultivation along with, like, the two different op modes of operation for that guy. Um, now, keep in mind that... Um, what was I going to tell you? <laughs> no, my, my brain just went blank. Oops. So now we're going to load this up. You can see here it's wiggling and... This thing will actually carry more, so what we're going to do is we're going to hop into the truck. Where's my semi? There it is. And this is full, and we're going to bring it over and tender more. You can load one while you're unloading the other, so we can do double duty here. And one thing we do need to do is we're going to take a run over to the, um, the biogas plant so you guys can see how that, where that comes from, too, what I'm talking about. Um, so we're going to overload into this guy because I think that holds more than 30,000. So, yeah, that's almost empty. Look at that. So we're going to come over here and start overloading. I'm going to fill that back up. So once again, this is a good multiplayer tool, this this overload. You don't have to do this. Once again, if you're by yourself on the farm and it's that freaking close, you could just drive. You could just drive this big yellow slurry wagon over to the cows and, and fill it up yourself. You don't have to use the truck or the tender, but I'm just showing you how all this equipment works so you can see the process. Once again, this is very helpful if the slurry happens to be a far way away. Like, let's say, you know, right now we're working on field, you know, 28 here, which is right next to the cow farm. But if we're up north on field 5 or field 9 or something and we need to get slurry up there, 
it's much easier to have one person, you know, use the wagon, and then the truck travels a lot faster. So for me to drive this huge tractor all the way back to the cow farm, that's a pain in the butt, you know. So it's a lot easier to 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 just um, use a semi truck to deliver it back and forth. Yeah. Yes, Jeff, Seth. Apparently there are like seven more levels that I have. Oh, okay. So you're just starting. So we're gonna fold this guy. You can see how nice and wide this is, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I say you can see where you're going. This one doesn't just spray juice all over the field. It allows you to see what you're doing. The same thing with that smaller gray one. Um, you can see exactly how wide your, your swath is. You can see why you need a big tractor to pull this, because this thing is just gigantic. And in real life, you would not want to drag it over the ground like that. Um, so I'm going to back up here and get this thing all lined up. And we'll go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the sprayer on. And I'm going to go this way a little bit because we're not. And there we go. And that's it. Pretty simple operation. We can see how wide it is. This thing has a nice wide path, so we're going to get this done in lickety split time. You can see I've already used up 10% of the tank. So you can see how fast this stuff goes. But on a field this big, you know, I mean, you could have this, you know, 10 passes in this field to be done. So, let's see. One pass on this field takes up how much juice? Um, we're at 80%, so we've, already, we've used 20% of the tank already on one pass. And it looks like it's going to be about a quarter tank to do one pass on this field. So, it's not super efficient. <laughs> Actually, more. Almost 30%. And so, we're going to get to the end and turn it off. Boop. There we go. So it used up 30% of our tank just to do one pass. However, we did get almost like a fifth of the field done in one pass. So this thing's pretty pretty good. Um, and you will, if you make biogas, you'll, you'll get a lot of this stuff. So if you're going to be, do, be doing slurry or like selling silage bales at the biogas plant, which I recommend doing, uh, you'll get a lot of free digestate. So um, let's take a look at the Zen Hammer. Uh, once again, we're going to fill this guy up. Same process. Let that thing warm up. I'll show you both the open operation and the cultivating operation. So, and then once that's done, we'll get this field finished. And we'll move on to stage two. So, this will be completing our stage one. This is, once again, the pre field planting portion. This is, we're trying to simulate here. So, we're Trying to get it as close as possible. Oh, I need to select the device. So if you look down in the bottom right-hand corner, once you pick the cultivator up, it selects the cultivator. See that little tractor picture? And as I press my select button, it goes back and forth between the two devices. You'll see them turning white. Right now, the cultivator selected. Right now, the slurry tank is, collect is, is uh, selected. I want to fill that slurry tank up. So I'm gonna, I want to have that selected, and then I press my fill button, which is the R button on the computer. I don't know what it is for your system, but... We're going to load this guy up. It probably won't fill up all the way because I think we're going to run out of slurry. But anyway, we'll get it as full as we can. Maybe it will. Yeah, it'll fill up all the way. I bet it does. The whole screen is shaking. Wow, making my eyes go all bug-eyed. I'm just going to do a little pass with the cultivator because I want to show you. Well, actually, I cultivate the whole field, but... You know, this is a this is once again a unique device. Now it doesn't have a very wide spread. That's the only downside. Now I'm going to select the cultivator and I'm going to unfold it, and I'm going to press the on button. I think I have to go back to here to turn this on. Nope. Okay, so maybe when we put it down, it just automatically does it. We'll go over by where our manure was and we'll do a little spread. We'll do one pass there. Um, so here's where the manure line is. Can you see the difference there? So I'm going to go ahead and get into position here, and I'm going to put my cultivator down. And as soon as I do that, it turns on. You can see there it's already spilling. Even if I stop moving, it starts spilling. So we want to get this done as fast as possible. But you can see here it's going to cultivate as I run. So you can see two different things happening. We can see the field's cultivated and the manure has been spread. So we have our first stage of, culti of uh, fertilization going on. So this is a very efficient device, but once again, it's kind of narrow. If you look at the size, obviously, of the other device, this thing's a lot narrower than the other one is. So that's kind of a, a bad position. 
Like it's going to take a lot longer to do this huge field with this small, you know, uh, spread than with that giant one over there. So it depends on what you want. If you have a smaller field, this might be for you. If you have a bigger field, you might want to just do a bigger cultivator and do a bigger spreader and do it in two steps because this is going to take a long time. So let's go ahead and raise that up and that'll turn back off. And now we're going to disconnect the cultivator and I'm going to show you how this thing works without the cultivator. It has a sprayer so we can get over here. The field won't be cultivated, but we will spray our animal crap all over the place. And so here we can see our worker so it's nice and straight. Um, that's the secondary operation there. So I'm going to let this guy go ahead and finish as much as he has, and we'll get this field all to the same stage of fertilization so that we can move on to the next phase, which will be planting. And we'll use a planter that has a fertilizer in it. Um, so I can show you what that does. So uh, anyway, before we do that, though, let's go ahead and we'll let this guy work. We're going to run over to the biogas plant so I can show you where to get the digestate from because that's an important step. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we are arriving at the biogas plant. You can see I've emptied out this tanker from the slurry, and we're going to pick up some digestate now. Uh, unfortunately, it will not be used, but we're going to use it. So here we go. This tank is here. If you press the F1 key to see your menu, you can see how much is in here. We have 250,000 liters, and they're currently at the bottom there. Um, so as long as the trailer is in this area, we press the button, and it fills up. Most maps have a biogas plant, and most biogas plants have this tank. Uh, they might, it might look a little different but it'll have these markers most likely. Um, and if you walk around on your menu, you'll see, watch this. If I go here, it disappears. You know you're going to get close. If I get, let's get a little close to this. Oh, nothing. How about this? Is this it? Oh, no, that's not it. Okay, so keep watching that upper menu. If I get close to this one, oh, look, it's showing me that there's digestate in there. So that's how we know. <laughs> so there's our truck. It's being filled with the digestate. And we can use that as fertilizer. Once again, Slurry, digestate, and manure in real life are spread before you plant your plants. Um, you want to plant them or you want to put it in the ground and basically cultivate that stuff into the ground. Usually it's done before cultivation and maybe right after plowing or even sometimes before plowing. So like I said, farmers a lot of times will put slurry, digestate, and manure down right after the harvest is over. And then over the winter or in the spring they'll plow their fields and it gets plowed down in but they really want it to soak in they don't want it to to um to be to be there when the when the cedar goes over it they want it to be kind of soaked into the ground so that the, the fertilizer goes down into the ground so that is the the process for your pre planting fertilization that's stage one basically um you, if you don't do stage one you can always do other stages so you could do like a just idiot you could, do, you could do solid fertilizer. Actually, it's my fault for trying to pass them. I should have been going slower. But you could do solid, um, you know, when you plant, and then do weeding, and then do spraying. You know, and we'll go over that again as we go. But, uh, oh, the tank is empty. He hasn't finished. So um, there are all kinds of methods to get your three stages. But this is probably, you know, if you have the, the digestate or the manure or the slurry, this is uh, definitely a realistic method that farmers use, and it's great fertilizer for your crop. And uh, it probably is the most fertilizer-like fertilization stage in this game. <laughs> the rest of them are more, well, I guess the, the solid fertilizer would be too, like the white stuff, the white stuff that they spray in the fields. But uh, anyway. All right, so Farmer Bob's happy with our work. You can see here field number eight has its first stage of fertilization, and that's all natural. It's either slurry, digestate, or manure. All three work. Um, once again, this is how I do it because I'm trying to keep it realistic. You can do it any way that you want, but that's how I got the first stage. Now, we have so many different methods that we're going to end up going to like five stages. You get, we won't get any added benefit from it, but I'm going to be showing you like all these different methods. So the next method is kind of an off the wall method. Um, we have a plant that we can plant that actually draws nitrogen up from lower down in the soil and brings it to the surface and then as you then you just plow that plant in and it becomes a fertilizer stage it's called oilseed radish so we're going to plant some oilseed radish so you can see how that works so we're going to do that next so we're going to spend a minute here and talk about cedars not all cedars plant oilseed radish you'll see here this very little cavernlin does and if I, I think you guys can see my mouse moving around here you can see here this double-headed plant 
It's the second to the last one here in the list. Next to the grass, we have, I should probably identify these for you. We've got wheat, barley, canola, soybean, oilseed radish, and grass. Um, you'll notice that this planter, the Amazon, does not plant um, oilseed radish, but it does do uh, <laughs> sunflowers, soybeans, corn, and sh uh, sugar beets. Now, uh, this one, this Great Plains here, this little guy, does oilseed radish, and it also can put down fertilizer. And you can tell because there's a bag, a solid bag of fertilizer. See that bag right there means solid fertilizer. You'll notice that the Convernland does not have that, but the Amazon does. So these can actually fertilize while they plant. So that's kind of cool because you can get an extra stage in there. Uh, and a lot of these planters do, some of them don't, but that's another way to get solid fertilizer into the ground. That would be, since we've already done one stage, doing that would give us a second stage. However, these two don't cultivate, so the ground has to be cultivated before you do it. Here we have a potato planter. Potans plant, plants potatoes. There's another tutorial that you can watch about that. Um, here we have another cedar that does not cultivate and does not, it does fertilize, but it doesn't plant oilseed radish. This guy doesn't fertilize, but it does plant oilseed radish. <laughs> this guy does fertilization of potatoes. So you can kind of see here, by going through these, you can kind of watch. The price goes up, obviously. This Pronto is huge. Uh, it does both fertilize and plant oilseed radish. And we get into some of the really huge equipment. This is the biggest one included in the game. We have a Lemkin. Now, you'll notice there's an extra line on this guy. This guy and this guy it says with a sewing machine you can sow fields that one says it too but this one says an additional additionally <clears throat> this machine offers the possibility to seed directly with no previous cultivating or plowing necessary so you can just cultivate with this seeder this one's even better this is what we call a three-in-one because it plants it fertilizes and it cultivates in one pass so that's a really nice piece of equipment because you get three things done at once. Um, then the Lemkin does not. The Amazon's the biggest one that comes in game. We're going to go even bigger, folks. These are the Big Bud Pack stuff that comes with the Big Bud DLC. This does. And it can plant oilseed radish. And here's the seed tender for it. So we're going to use this set for our Challenger tractor. Um, there's other things concluded in the Coon Pack that can and can't. You just kind of got to go through each piece. Astara, um, Astara offers a lot of things that do both this one. This one cultivates. This is a small one, and that's nice because it's little, and it does all those things. It fertilizes, it plants, and it cultivates in one pass. And the big Australia also does. So we have the Series Master and the Australia. So Astara is a good one to look at for that stuff. Um, so anyway, but but we're going to go with the, Termi the Terminator. Yeah. And then this determinate the seed tenda. And this one also fertilizes. So it's a three in one. It, it plants, fertilizes, and seeds at the same time. We're not going to use the fertilizer function this time, but you, well, maybe we will. We probably need to just to show you how to do it. So um, we're going to fill this guy up with all kinds of stuff. It's going to take a while to fill this up. I am, I think I am using the pallet extension mod. So I'm going to cheat and use these giant things. Because it takes it's a lot faster for the sake of the video. But in this is a, a mod called the uh, wait. Does this take liquid or solid? Let's look at our cedar. Once again, a couple of the cedars actually take liquid fertilizer. This one is solid fertilizer. Uh, I think the potato cedar takes a liquid. There's the potato cedar. Yeah, see that takes liquid. That's a picture for liquid fertilizer. It's like a little canister. Um, so we need to buy probably two pallets of seed. And two pallets of fertilizer, big bag. They're giant bags of this stuff. It's pretty funny. Twelve thousand dollars. You gotta have some money. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is fill the tender up. That's good. That's not the button I wanted. So here goes the seed. And what's odd is it doesn't show us it filling. It's really weird how this thing works. It's a little buggy. And this is from Giants, too. I used up one container, so we've got over 8,000. Almost full, though. It's almost, you can see it filling up there. Okay, it's full. So 
So this should actually change. There we go. And we're going to fill this up now. Now it shows us the fertilizer. It's really, I don't think we can see the seed until we attach that back piece. It's really weird how that works, but that's just maybe how they had to program it. So looks like this is going to take a lot less fertilizer than it did um, seed. So once again, all you got to do is fill up both the seed and the fertilizer, and you will get another stage of fertilization as you plant. So that's really nice. It gets takes care of two in one. So... Um, you could theoretically plant and fertilize the oilseed radish. Now, I think in real life, you probably just plant the oilseed radish by itself without fertilizing it. But I don't know. I'm not a farmer. Uh, but I think the, the oilseed radish or cover crop would go down first. Then you'd cultivate it in and, and then use fertilizer once you were doing the cultivation. So, so you're going to watch. As I plant this, this the field's going to turn to the second stage of blueness. Uh, so once again, we'll take a look at our map and look at the shades, and then as we work, we'll I'll take a we'll hop in there and take a look. So you can see, as we fertilize using the fertilizer, it's going to change color. And then once we cultivate that that uh, oilseed radish in, it'll change color again. So here's the map. You can see here, this field number 27 is fertilized all the way. Field number 28 is fertilized on the first stage, and you can do this. You can run this up. I uh, can't really run next to it because this is too far down. But you can see that blue matches that blue, so we're at stage one. So let's go ahead and hire a worker. And he's going to go ahead and plant for us. And we'll let this guy do his job. You can see that the soil stays that same dark color, uh, even though it's pushing the manure into the ground. Um, and we're planting the oilseed radish as we go, so this is how we plant. Now, um, if you weren't doing oilseed radish, the procedure would be the same. You just... You wouldn't, you'd have just your regular like wheat or barley or corn that you'd be planting. So I'm just trying to show you all the different methods of fertilizer. You don't have to do oilseed radish. You can. It's an option. The one downside with the oilseed radish is that it uses seed. So if you could use a weeder instead, that might actually be cheaper because <laughs> the weeder is free. Uh, manure is free. Slurry is free. Uh, digestate is free. S oilseed radish costs money because you're buying a plant. Solid fertilizer costs money because you're, you're buying fertilizer. Uh, same thing with the liquid fertilizer. Wow, that was weird. It glitched on that part of the field, but okay, well, maybe use that as a little test section. That's kind of annoying. That's one of the things that the workers, they don't really like this big butt equipment. They do weird things with it sometimes. So he's really like ignoring the entire end of the field there. Okay. I'll have to go back and do that by hand. So anyway, all right, we're going to let this guy work and then I'll catch up with you once he is finished. Okay. So the guy has been working for a while and you can see here we're on our second stage of fertilization. Now I need to make one thing clear. You can only do one stage of fertilization per growth stage. And I need to go over with you what those growth stages are. The first growth stage is planting. So we spread manure that counted as one stage. If I came out here after after spreading the manure and tried to put down liquid fertilizer or solid fertilizer, it wouldn't count. You could do it, but it wouldn't count. So you'd have no additional fertilization. Um, I have to actually plant the field for that next stage to count. So this cedar because it fertilizes and plants at the same time it counts so we're able to get our second stage because it's planting the seed and then adding fertilizer um, so that's our first stage of growth um, so you can put down fertilizer once on the field that has you know a blank slate field that has no crop on it but just once you can't keep adding fertilizer and do the whole thing before so i couldn't like do manure and then do slurry and think that it would count because it wouldn't. I could only do one or the other. I can't do both and then have two layers. So once the field goes through the planting phase, I can now add another layer. So now this field, because we're planting and adding fertilizer, this is the second state. Now that this is planted, I can't come here with a solid fertilizer and add fertilizer. It's not going to work. Uh, it'll physically show the colors changing, but it's not going to do anything for your actual um, growth stage. So you have to wait until the plants pop. Once those plants pop, then we can do our final stage of fertilization on this field. So we've done the first two stages. 
we can do one more. Now, I am preparing the next field to show you other methods. Uh, you can see that harvester is out there working, and we're going to get that field emptied out so that we can also work on that field um, and do some examples of other types of fertilization because we still have to do weeding. We still have to do um, solid fertilizer, um, spread, and we still have to do liquid fertilizer. So there's those three other stages. So that's another way that you could do it. Once again, any of these combinations will work. You could do, you could do weeding. You could start with oilseed radish and then weed the oilseed radish and then plant with a planter that cultivates and does solid fertilizer. And that would be all three stages. Or you could do like we did. You could do manure and then weed and then spray. That would be three stages. Or you could do <laughs> solid fertilizer as you plant and then you could spray and then do another layer of solid fertilizer. Now, that's not realistic. Once again, I'm trying to show you realistic ways of doing it. Um, but in real in real life, you could do um, solid fertilizer, weeding, and then spraying. That would be three stages. Um, so there's just all kinds of different ways you can do this, and that's what I'm trying to show you. But I'm also trying to just give you examples of of a, of, st of different ways to do this uh, with both pay and free methods. So um, now he's going to start messing up up there. That's great. It's really, really annoying, and we'll fix all that when it's done. But uh, so. Hopefully that makes sense. So once again, one fertilization stage per growth stage. So stage one, you plant the seeds. Or before you plant, you can fertilize. Then once you plant, you can fertilize again. And then once the plants grow one growth stage, you can fertilize. And then they grow again, you can fertilize again. However, the most you can do is three. So once you've reached three stages, you don't have to keep going because you're not going to get any more benefit out of it. Just those first three stages are where you get your growth. Hopefully that made sense. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll try my best to answer them. But I think that's I made that pretty clear, like so it's understandable. So once again, one one stage poor one stage per growth stage. And only three stages are available. You can't you can't do five stages of fertilization. It won't count towards a better crop. Um and now another issue that we run into as we're finishing up here, I'll let these guys work. But uh, another thing that we see is people asking questions about um about fertilizing grass. If you have planted the grass yourself, there's a benefit to fertilizing the grass. So three stages of fertilizer on the grass. The nice thing about grass is cutting it counts as one stage. So then you only have two stages left. You could cut it, weed it, and then spray it. That would be all three stages for your grass. And you'd get more bales of material. Double, probably, because that's what the, the game gives you 100% of crop. And then by fertilizing three stages and plowing, you get an additional 100%. So <laughs> it's worth it. Like, it's worth doing it. You'll, you'll double the amount of bales that you get off of a grass field if you if you uh, fertilize it. So anyway, that is a question that we get fr uh, frequently. However, if you try to fertilize grass that is just off on the side of the map, like this stuff that surrounds the fields, it doesn't have any benefit. But if you plant a grass field like I did over there. You can see that grass field down there. I planted that. That will actually receive benefits from fertilization. So you want to do a couple stages to that if you can. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let these guys finish what they're doing and clean up the field a little bit, and then we'll move on to the last phase of this first section where we did oilseed radish to get our third stage of fertilization, and we'll then continue with the other ways to do it. Okay, so this field is almost done. Now I have a dilemma that I wanted to share with you, and this is one of those things where... When you do this, you want to kind of think ahead about your stages. And I, I, I mentioned to you when we were at the shop that I shouldn't be filling that with fertilizer, but I went ahead and did it anyway because I wanted to show you how the cedar works with the fertilizer and how it gives you a stage of fertilization. The problem is now, if I use that cedar again with the fertilizer in it, it's going to waste that fourth stage of fertilization on the field because, once again, you can only have three stages. So I'm going to put more fertilizer down and get no benefit out of it. So that's a waste of materials. So you have to kind of think ahead as you're planning this. Now, to remedy that situation, I could either use a different cedar that doesn't have fertilizer in it um, or cultivate the field when the oilseed radish pops and use another cedar that's planting corn or sunflower seeds. Um, so we'll kind of go over that when once the, the oilseed radish pops. So I wanted to just make sure you guys are thinking ahead to your three stages of fertilization. How can I get those three? What's the most effective method to get those? 
uh, maybe planting oilseed radish with a fertilizer that has, or with a, a cedar that has fertilizer in it wasn't the best method. Or maybe I should just, you know, put the slurry down, put actual fertilizer down with wheat, and then weed it. You know, use a weeder to get that third stage of, of you know, that would be another way to do it. So my point is when you're doing this, there's just many different ways you can do it. Always kind of be thinking ahead about how you're going to achieve those three stages without wasting any materials. And the other thing that you want to do um, as we wait for these, the harvester to finish and the crops to grow, I'm trying to give you some helpful hints here while we wait. Um, the other thing that you always want to consider, and we kind of talked about this a little bit before too, you want to use up the free fertilizers that you have. So that's going to come first. So you want to use the manure and the slurry and the digestate. Uh, you definitely want to get a weeder and use the weeder because the weeder is free. Once you buy it, all you have to do is use it and it's free. You don't have to add any materials to it. Um, so those, you know, slurry, digestate, weeding, and manure are four ways that you can get um, free a, a, a free stage of fertilizer. Uh, so always keep that in mind that that is, you know, a great way to, to, to get fertilizer and not have any additional costs of buying spray or, you know, chemical fertilizers or the solid fertilizer. Um, it just... It, it gives you that, that opportunity to get all three stages without paying too much money. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and wait for this oilseed radish to pop. And then we will go over how to use that as a stage of fertilizer. And then we'll move on to the next field and get three stages over there so you can see how that goes. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so the the this is what oilseed radish looks like. Now, you don't have to wait for it to grow all the way. It doesn't really grow anymore, honestly. It has one stage of growth. And that's it. <laughs> this is what it looks like always. As soon as it grows, you can cultivate this into the ground. So once you see the plants pop above the ground, we can get that final stage. So once again, we're going to look at our map. We have two stages on this field. You can see next door is an example of three stages right there. This is two. That's three. Let's go ahead and make this three stages. So how we do that? Well, there's you cultivate this in. And once you cultivate the oilseed radish into the ground, that counts as a stage of fertilization. So we're going to go ahead and put this guy out there. Um, these are the two different methods I showed you. Uh, we got another tractor on our side waiting to do something different. Something different. So uh, let's go ahead and get this guy rolling. The sun goes down on our beautiful farm. Um, so we're going to start the engine up. And I'm going to go ahead and hire a worker. And this guy's going to go to task. Oh, he's completed his task. Perfect. He has not. So we're going to go ahead and start cultivating. And you can see here as we go through there, it's going to start. Yeah, it's not going to be perfect. I... I'm just, for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not getting every bleeding edge, but in real life, that would bother the crap out of me. For those of you that watch my channel, you'd know that make me angry to have that little strip there, but whatever. Uh, for the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to move on. Um, and then after that's done, we're going to follow behind, but here you can see on the map already, uh, oops, wrong button, uh, that we're getting our third stage of cultivation, that our uh, uh, fertilization from the cultivator. Now, it doesn't keep real time, so if I go here, it'll show it some more. And then if we, uh, if we, um, oh, he's blocked by now. Oh, that was me blocking it. Okay, so they can see there, as he goes down the field, we're going to have a full pass there. And that section of the field has been cultivated to a third degree. Then we can follow behind with the cedar and get our uh, crop going. The other option would be to use a cedar that has a cultivator but no fertilizer. So over here we have the Vader stat, which is, I think, the largest one that really does that. Or you could use one that does use fertilizer but not put fertilizer in it. <laughs> so there's a couple different ways to do this, but um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in now. This So this guy is going to start seeding, and he's going to cultivate at the same time, so we're going to get that last stage of fertilization. Once again, this this seeder itself does not... Oh, I planted the wrong kind of crop. Dang it. Oh, well, well who cares? It's just for demo. Um, he's planting barley. The other guy's planting wheat. He hasn't even, Actually, we'll make the other one barley, too, because we haven't started yet. So... Um, but you can see here as I go, <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the map. It's going to be a real thin line, but as he works, that blue line is going to get that dark blue line is going to get thicker and thicker because he's going to make it wider and wider. So, uh, let's go ahead and hop into the red tractor and we will go ahead and get, um, get this started. So now I'm going to start seeding Y. There we go. And once again, the stuff that I didn't cultivate will not get planted. So. I'm going to go here and go ahead and hire a worker. 
And this guy is going to start planting. And so you can see the field now is going to get planted. And we will have our wheat. And it has three stages. So once this field is done, we'll have a full harvest of wheat. Because we've, we've got it all three stages of fertilization going. And everything is happy. Once again, that other guy at the other end is doing the exact same thing. He just he can do it in one stage rather than having to have two tractors to do a cultivation and a planting stage. So let's move on to the last three methods of fertilization. That's going to be weeding, solid fertilizer, using a, a spreader, and a sprayer for the liquid fertilizer. All right, so for this last setup, we're not going to do the whole field. I'm just going to do a couple strips here, but I want you to see how this works. So right now we're using a seeder that doesn't use fertilizer. Because of that, we're going to have to add three stages. We haven't put any slurry down. We haven't put any manure down. There's no oilseed radish. This is a completely blank field. It has no fertilization whatsoever. Um, here is a large solid fertilizer spreader. What this does is it, it, it um, spreads this white, little these white little pellets um they're made up of different types of materials nitrogen i think and phosphor whatever pk is so you have n and pk or npk mixed together or just pk um and the game does not distinguish those there are some mods that allow you to pick n pk and you can kind of look at the the field and see what you need but this is not modded so we're, we're using we're dealing with regular old um just regular old white fertilizer. We don't know exactly what it is, but it's a white material that we spread out in little pellets on the field. Um, in real life, they could they would spread this. Sometimes they'll spread it before they plant. Sometimes they spread it right after they plant. Sometimes they spread it once the plants have sprouted. So there's different times that you can use it. This is the biggest one they offer in the game. I'm sure there's some mod ones that are larger, uh, but we can go to here in the menu and look at the fertilizer spreaders and see that there's... Uh, with the coon, which is part of the coon pack, there's four different equivalents. Um, now, if you don't have this DLC, you'll just have these three. You'll have the Cavernland, the small breedle, which is pretty big, actually, and the large breedle. Um, so these give you those white pellets, and that is where you're going to get the uh, solid fertilizer stage um, if you don't have a cedar that fertilizes. So let's go ahead and put this guy into action. And... Um, there we go. And I'm sorry about the background noise. It's like a million degrees in my room, so I had to turn my air conditioner on. So I apologize if that's making a lot of noise, but that's just how it is, guys. Usually I, usually I have it off, but I've been recording for like two hours now, and I'm just I'm done being hot. So, All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn this guy on see how wide it is because it's a pretty wide spread. And we'll try to get an idea of where we go in the field without wasting or missing. And I'm right on the edge. There we go. So we're going to straighten out here, and I'm going to go ahead and hire a worker and let him do the rest. So that guy's going to go to town, and he's spreading for us. So that's how that works. It's that simple. You can see it changing color as it goes. You can see the little white pellets coming out of the back of the fertilizer. Those are those that – it doesn't make the field wet. In real life, you'd actually see little white dots all over the field. And then as it rains or gets you know sprayed with water, that fertilizer breaks down and goes into the soil and feeds the plants. So plant. So we'll let that guy finish, and we'll catch up in just a minute. As he spreads that fertilizer, we can look at our map, and you can see uh, that he has he's made this first right here along that line. He's made that first stage of fertilization. You can see I didn't finish the other field because it's a tutorial. Uh, but that whole strip there is like that light blue, which means that the first stage is put down. If we come back as it goes, you'll see he's done more, and he's going to fill up that whole area that we've planted with fer fertilizer. And that's what we're looking for. All right, so that guy's done doing the part that I want done. He's going to keep going, but I don't really need him to, but whatever. Um, so we're going to do this now. I'm going to um, speed up time a little bit using the only mod that I'm using in the game, and that's the Fast Forward Time mod. It is not available for console, I don't think, but it is available on PC. Once again, it's called Fast Forward, all one word, and it's available from modhub.us. So we're going to speed up time. To keep just clicking one hour at a time until we see the crops pop. Now the problem is it's going to be nighttime. That does make it a little bit difficult for us to see what we're doing, uh, but we're going to have to deal with it. Um, because that's... Oh, and there it goes. So we have the first stage of growth with our soybeans. So the next phase is going to be to weed these soybeans. And so I'm going to go ahead and get this out. So once that first stage pops, this is the only time that you can use the weeder. Um, you can't just weed dirt or weed nothing, or weed second or third stage plants. It has to be done during this first stage. So if you're going to plan on weeding, which I would because it's free, um, 
You can only do it during that first stage of growth, which is why it's we have to do it at night. It sucks that we have to do it at night, but we have to. Once again, the telltale is that you'll be able to see the field change color. It's going to be very difficult at nighttime. I would just hire a worker if I were you. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start weeding. And you can see there, barely see the color change between the, the where it's weeded and where it's not. Pain in the butt. It's just a real pain in the butt. But I'm going to go ahead and hire a worker. So once again, he's weeding. That's all you have to do. You just run over the crop. And you can see, if we look carefully, and I'll try to... I'm going to hop out here and get a flashlight on this. Um, hopefully we'll be able to see the difference as we show the lines of where he's been and where he hasn't been. You can see on the left he has been. On the right he hasn't been. It's really hard to see the difference at night. During the day it's not so bad. But at nighttime this is done. Or this is, yeah, and this is not done. It's, it's hard to see. So I apologize. That's just how the clock ticked. And we can't do it any other time. We have to do it when it's in the first stage. So... There's no waiting. We or there's no waiting until morning. We have to do it now. So there he goes. He's weeding. And once again, if you get to that that part where you can't see what you're doing, and it's like, oh my gosh, I can't figure out what I've done and what I haven't done, you can always hire a worker because the workers do see where you've been and where you haven't been. So you let them go ahead and do their thing, and that'll kind of help you out. Hopefully, that's another hint that'll kind of help you. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and let. Mrs. Farmer fix the field up there. She's going to continue weeding until it's done, and we will pick up once she's finished and talk about sprayers. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take a look, real quick look in the shop. There is actually a category called weeders. There's only two available. Now, um, early on in the game, they let us weed fields that had nothing on them, and then you could plant oilseed radish or grass with this one and then cultivate it under and have a second stage. So this would not only weed with for one stage, but it would give you a second stage with uh, oilseed radish. And so you could plant the oilseed radish while you were weeding and then come back and cultivate and actually have two stages of fertilization already done. But they patched the game, so they, they broke this device when they patched it um, because you can only weed during the first stage of growth. Um, so that means there has to be plants growing on the field already, and you can't seed over them with this device. It doesn't cultivate, so that broke it. So you, can, you, and you can't. You could use it to plant the seed, but why would you spend eighty-seven thousand dollars on a planter that plants grass only, grass and oilseed radish when you can get seeders that are bigger, that are half that price? So this device is no longer usable in the game. I. I don't know why they did that, but I kind of do know. People were were weeding nothing. If this game actually had weeds that would grow, then it would make sense. And this thing would rip the weeds up and you could plant grass or oilseed radish. But that's not how the game works anymore. So it's and it never had actual weeds in it. So this is completely useless. So get this uh, Aerostar Rotation 1200. This is the one that you want to buy. Uh, if you got two tractors, you can hire a worker for one and use the other one yourself and get the, the field done a lot faster. But once again, stay away from the Pneumatic Star. That one doesn't work anymore. Just get this the, the Aerostar. Hope that helps. All right, so the night has passed. Uh, Gertrude has finished weeding. As you can see here on the field, we have our second strip of fertilization, and she's still going in its second stage. She's not supposed to be able to do that, but she's doing it, so we'll just leave it at that. The weeder's not supposed to be able to work during that second stage, but it's working. Um, so maybe it's first and second stage only. Maybe that's how they did it. Uh, but here we have uh, um, the field that's on our second stage. Now all we have left to do is to get our third stage through a sprayer. And now that the plants have grown to the second stage of growth, that's the time to implement the sprayer. Now, once again, soybeans are very difficult to see the ground underneath. So you may want to uh, hire a worker again to spray when you grow soybeans. If you're growing like potatoes or wheat or barley or corn, it's easy to see where you've been. But with soybeans, because they kind of cover the whole ground, it's harder to see. Um, so it might be worth hiring a worker. Let's go ahead and get this guy fired up and spread out because this thing is huge. Now, just like the other devices in the shop, there are many different levels of sprayer that you can buy. Uh, we have happen to have the largest. Um, if you have the Coon Pack and the Platinum Expansion, there's some additional equipment here. We have the Astara Imperador, which both uh, sprays solid fertilizer and liquid fertilizer. So this thing's pretty cool. We've got some coon pieces of equipment that these are tractor mountable. This is pulled by a tractor. Same with these guys. These are tractor mountable. This is pulled by a tractor. And we have the uh, SPF 400 
SP 400 F. I'm sorry. Uh, New Holland sprayer. And then of course the star sprayer. So those we're using the biggest one that we can get cause it's freaking huge. And let's go ahead and put this guy to the test. You can see we can get the whole thing that had been weeded in one pass um, because this is so huge. And let's see if we can actually see the difference in the crop. I bet you we will not be able to, but we'll try. All right, so let's go ahead and put the sprayer on. And the other guys, uh, Gertrude's done. You can kind of see where we've been, but once again, with soybeans, it's hard. <laughs> I can kind of see where it's been. It's really difficult. So I'm just going to hire a worker. And we'll let this guy go to town. Guy or girl, I'm not sure who's in there. And that's it. So you've seen the final stage of fertilization. And that is um, the spring. And if we look at our map, is she going crooked? Looks like, no, she's going straight. Okay. Uh, if we look at our map, you're going to see that we have got to that nice dark blue where the harvester has been, where the sprayer has been. And that is the third stage. So these crops right here are at their third stage of fertilization. So that is showing us how the different stages of fertilization work. Once again, I'm just trying to give you some ideas on different methods that you can use. You can do them in any order you want. If you wanted to spray three times, you could spray three times. If you want to put down fertil solid fertilizer three times, you could do that three times. You don't have to do any of these methods the way that I showed you how to do it. But I'm trying to open your mind a little bit to how farmers do it and, and, and give you an idea of like, look, there's different methods to doing this, and it's a combo of the three different types of, of fertilization. She's totally lost. <laughs> Look at that. Um, that make this work. So hopefully this video made sense. Hopefully this was a big help to you as you learn how to fertilize and take care of your farm. Uh, obviously, I had a hard time seeing where I was fertilizing, and so does the hired worker. What an idiot. <laughs> anyway. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help, and uh, be looking out for the other tutorials that I'm putting out. Hopefully you guys are learning about this game and enjoying it. It's a great game. So anyway, if you have any questions, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. And I will see you next time on Farming Simulator 17. Bye.